Hey, welcome to the Fish Biodiversity Lab. I'm Carol Johnston. I'm a professor in the School of Fisheries, Aquaculture, and Aquatic Sciences. And I'm an ichthyologist. An ichthyologist is a zoologist that studies fishes. Oh, why do fishes make sounds? The same reason other animals make sounds, such as birds calling, frogs calling, things that are audible to us. Fishes do the same thing. We're late in discovering it because we can't hear it. It's underwater, right? And you need specialized equipment to hear it. But they use them for the same reasons. They're either territorial or during the breeding season, the males are calling so that females can assess them and decide who they want to spawn with. Um, they, we've also found that the calls of some fishes actually cause the hormones that cause ovulation in their conspecifics um, to increase it causes ovulation. So it actually causes them, the females, to get ready to spawn. One of the things we focused on recently is water availability. And we found in our analysis in the state of Alabama that most of our watersheds have lost a tremendous amount of water since the 40s when we began taking data. In some cases, up to a 63% decrease in in-channel water resource in the summertime. What does that do with fishes? Well, if you're a fish that really needs fast water to spawn and to live, you tend to drop out of that system. And the ones that are tolerant of low flows and high temperatures are the ones that persist. So we have an ongoing project statewide to see how water is a catalyst for fish assemblage change. When I look back on my career in terms of impact, I don't think of the publications, the grant dollars, the awards, or sometimes even the individual studies. What I think my impact has been, at least I hope so, is working with my graduate students and undergraduate students. I've been really lucky to work with some amazing, talented, funny people over the years. And no matter how hard we've worked, and no matter how horrible the habitat, swamps, horrible ditches, no matter what, we found some way to have fun with it, and all of our mishaps somehow turned into stories and legends. I hope that I've had an impact on my students. If, they, if I have had half the impact that they have had on me, then my career has been really good. And I can't wait to meet my next crop of graduate students.